Assalamu alaikum. Today we will learn about star topology, its advantages and disadvantages. If you did not know about network topology and its types, physical topology and logical topology, see link in description and learn before proceed further. Star topology. In star topology, computers connect to the central device, a switch or a hub with point-to-point -point communication links. Point-to-point -point connections means that there is a dedicated link or a cable between the two devices. Other devices cannot use it. In this topology, if one computer wants to send some data frame to another computer, it is first routed to the central device. The central device then either broadcast or unicast the received data frame towards the destination computer based on the type of central device used. Broadcast means that the transmission of data to all connected devices, while unicast means the transmission of data to the target device only. If the central device is a hub, it broadcasts the received frame to all the connected computers. That is, a hub is multi-port repeater. The frame has a destination MAC address which is unique to every computer present in the network. So, only target computer accepts the frame. Other discards the frame. Since a hub broadcasts the received frame, so it increases unnecessary data traffic in the network. To overcome these limitations, a switch is used as a central device. Because switch is more intelligent device than hub. Every computer has a unique MAC address. A switch stores the MAC address of devices connected to its ports. It is called a switch table. Since data frames it receives has a destination MAC address and the switch knows that the device with MAC address MAC2 is connected to the port P2. So switch forwards the received data frame to port 2 only. Hence, instead of broadcasting the switch unicast the frame. Suppose your computer is connected to a printer with a star topology network. Now you click on print from your computer to print a file. The file is sent to the central device. If the central device is a hub, the file is forwarded to all connected computers. However, only printer accepts it. On the other hand, if the central device is a switch, the file is sent to printer only. That is unicast transmissions. Moreover, when your computer is busy is sending a file to printer, computer A and B can also communicate with each other without affecting the computer printer link. That is switched connections allow simultaneous communication. On the other hand, hubs allows only one device to communicate at a time. Please note that if the destination MAC address in the frame is Ethernet broadcast address, then the switch also broadcasts the received frame. In star topology, only one input-output port and cable is needed for each device to connect to several devices. It makes it less expensive than mesh topology. It is also easy to reconfigure because we can add or remove devices simply by connecting or disconnecting one cable. If one cable connected to the central device fails, only one communication link goes down and not the entire network. So star topology has a good fault tolerance. Fault detection is also easy because we only need to locate a computer which is not receiving data. However, if the central device goes down, the whole network is paralyzed. One more limitation in star topology is number of computers in a network is limited by the number of input-output ports in a central device. Example of star topology is high-speeded LAN. Viewers, if you have learned something from this video, please like this video, share this video so that more people can learn. Subscribe to Softterms if you want to learn more and turn the notification on. Thanks for watching.